that five-day period last week is is kind of a tumultuous or, or exhausting five-day period emotionally that, that you've been through as a, as a football player with everything that happened? Um, you're talking about game week? The last yeah, game? The game week. Yeah. Marcus, yeah. Two games in five days, Marcus, and, and, and just the aftermath of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um... That was that's an understatement to say the least. I would say um, when you lose a brother of your team, uh, coaching staff, um, a father figure uh, to a lot of the guys, that's it takes a toll on you. And I know it's still taking a toll on a lot of us. Um, he's an amazing dude, and I'm gonna miss him in here every single day. Um, I just continue to keep praying for his family, praying for him. Um, and just knowing that he's in a good place now, uh, yeah, it's 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 been a struggle. But um, I mean, we're all here for him. We're all here for his family. Um, the strength coaches in there that work with him every day. Um, yeah, it was it was a rough way to start the week, but uh, yeah. Lane, did did you spend even more time with Marcus and with the staff because of your, the nature of your injuries and length theory had? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and really, he kind of he took me underneath his wing, really from the moment I got here. Um, and I mean, he's always joking with me. Uh, my nickname was number one. He called me number one, still number one. Like that's how it's been for the last three years. So, uh, and I spent a lot of time in there with him during my rehab, getting right, getting my strength back um, a couple times now. And I mean, he's he just wants the best for you. Um, he's wired that way, and I mean, he's, he, he gives it all his all every single day. Um, he's one of the last ones out of the building every day. Um, I mean, sometimes we tease him and tell him that he needs to get away from it a little bit, but uh, I mean, the dude was just, was just an absolute grinder. Um, he was a great person. What's the key to helping your teammates uh, kind of process this and continue to move forward? Um, just it really puts things in perspective and, and it really makes you realize to not take anything for granted. That's something I live by every single day because it can be taken away from me in the blink of an eye. Um, so I think that's, that's just a way that I think a lot of, uh, a lot of people need to live. Uh, everybody should live that because I mean, life's short. Um, you don't know when it's going to catch up to you. You don't, you don't know when, when something is going to happen just like that. Um, uh, it, it comes out of nowhere, um, and so you just gotta you gotta live your life to the fullest, uh, be happy, and and just make the most out of everything and, and have fun with it. Um, and that's one thing that he did. I mean, he loved what he did. He, he and you could tell he he gave everything that he had. Do you think it'll be pretty emotional for you and, and the other guys in, in the service tomorrow, or is it? Are you at the point now where it's going to be more of a, a celebration of, of his life and, and, and what he was able to give to each of you? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure emotions will still be flowing, uh, but I mean, just looking back and, and knowing and celebrating him um, is is going to be amazing. Whether uh, the emotions are happy, sad, uh, there's going to be all of those. So um, just celebrating him and and just enjoying our time together, embracing everybody, um, and, and just being there for him and being there, being there for his family. Like in a, on a football standpoint, tonight y'all will be, or this afternoon, I should say, y'all will be watching the Ravens game in position groups, Coach McCarthy said. What opportunity does that give y'all as linebackers? And have you done anything like that before when you've already started an installation and can now watch your opponent in real time? This might be a first uh, as far as doing it with a team. Um, obviously, you can obviously you, you watch the games here and there, and you know if you have a common opponent that's that's going to be playing you, that you're going to be playing the next week or in the next couple of weeks, and you sit down and watch them on TV if you get the chance. Um, but I mean, this is unique for us. Uh, I think it's a it's something that we can take advantage of. Um, I mean, they're coming; they'll be coming off a short week too, and and next week we'll be going off of another short week. So, uh, I mean, just getting this in being able to watch together, um, I think uh, it'll, it'll be awesome. It'll be good for us. Are you guys able to get more off the TV copy of games this year than in the past because of no crowd noise and it seems like they're doing more like 
sideline sounds and things. Are you guys able to get more from that? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that a little bit. Uh, depends on what you can hear and what you can't hear. Uh, but I don't really know if the game, I shouldn't really say the game slowed down um, because there's no crowd or whatever it is. The energy is just, just different. But, I mean, you can really hone in. Just being out there on the field with no fans, it's extremely odd. Um, and you can hear and you can hone into a lot more. So it's like – it's just different in all aspects, whether you're watching it on TV or whether you're actually playing in it. What's it like watching film with Sean Lee? I know you've done it, like you said, not in this way, but in other ways, but how much fun is that? <laughs> I'm still catching up to him. I, there's some times where I still got to tell him, I'm like, dude, you got to slow down a little bit because <laughs> I'm not where you are yet. I'm not where you are yet. So... Uh, just sometimes I joke with him and be like, dude, you chill out a little bit, like talking my terms and not in like some other planet. Um, but it's still, it's, it's amazing. There's things that I learn from him every single day, every single time that we watch film uh, together or just talking on the field. Um, and I think that's just being a student of the game and, and loving it. Cause I, I think it's so awesome to this day that, I mean, I'm still learning stuff. I mean, I, I feel like I learn a lot more every day just, re, just regardless uh, from where I grew up playing eight-man ball because things are there's still some things I'm learning. I'm just like, I did not, I had no idea about that or I had no idea this is how I should be looking at this. Um, I know it's the third year and it's my third year in the league, but uh, realistically it's been, what, seven years playing 11-man ball. So, uh, and once you take a step up into college and once you take a step up into the league, things are just different as it is and the speed of the game doesn't slow down whatsoever and the, and the guys are that much better so uh, there's things that you can learn there's things that you always should be learning um, and just developing your game when you tell him to chill out though you know he's not going to do it right absolutely not <laughs> uh, Leighton, how much do you guys as a team keep up with what's going on in the rest of the division um, obviously with you guys still being in it um, with how bad everything's been in the division. How much do you guys talk about it or keep up with it? Can you say that again? Which is how you guys, obviously, you know, you're in the last place in the division, oh, but yeah. it's been a bad division this year. You guys are still in it. How much do you guys keep up with that? Do you guys talk about it? Just kind of what's that like? Uh, I mean, don't take this personal, but I think that's a ridiculous question. Um, I mean, we're, we're focusing on ourselves. Uh, we're focusing on what we can do to make the playoffs. And that comes week after week after week. Um, we focus on ourselves every single day in practice, every meeting, um, getting the most out of it, taking it slow, not getting too, too too far ahead of ourselves, not worrying about other teams in our division, other teams around the league. we got to focus on ourselves. And that's going out there and getting the job done regardless of what it takes. And that's what we're focused on right now. How big has Demarcus Lawrence been this year to you guys? Say that again. How big has Demarcus Lawrence been uh, to you guys okay. this year? Yeah, I mean he's D Law. I mean he, he he finds a way to get it done. Uh, I mean the, the, his he plays all out every single snap. Uh, I think that's what makes him special. Um, I mean, there's there's some times where he might get out of his gap or things here and there. But he makes up for it with his speed and the way he plays the game, his play style. Um, and I think that's huge for us. We need – we've been – the first part of the season, we were trying to figure out what our play style was and, and just establishing that. And I think um, he's been a big part of getting that on track or getting, get, uh, getting things right um, there. And just, yeah, I mean, it, it shows up on film. taking several steps forward, particularly against the run. Um, when you look at the fourth quarter against Washington last Thursday, what do you think the biggest issue was, um, and particularly on Antonio Gibson's too late touchdown? Everybody doing their job. That's literally that's all it was. Just we all got to fit our gap. We got to find someone to make it right if that doesn't happen. Um, we all got to be on the same page and not take any steps off. On the 
that first yeah. touchdown run in the fourth quarter, that sort of gap integrity issue, without being harsh, how, how, can you kind of help me understand like how that still happens this late in the season? Yeah, uh, I think that was just um, – we talked about we talked about before the game making an adjustment based off of how the back adjusted, and the back adjusted, but he didn't quite go all the way, so it, they were caught halfway in between. We still got to make the play. There's no excuses. I'm not making any excuses. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. Thank you.